So our, our, our workshop is called Reset, as, as you know. Uh, it's a renewable and sustainable energy and technology workshop uh, with the byline technology and policy efforts to reset our economy to renewables. So uh, the, we, choose this, we choose this topic. I'll back up and explain to you a bit about our IGERT program. Uh, our IGERT, first of all, the IGERT program uh, will be explained a little bit better to us by uh, Dr. Carol Stoles, who's in our audience from the National Science Foundation. She's one of the program directors, and I'll tell you a bit more about her in, in just a couple of moments. But uh, the IGERT program in general is uh, funded by the National Science Foundation. It's an integrative graduate education research and training program. Uh, and it, it funds graduate students to work in an interdisciplinary uh, topic. And depending on the, the topic, the topics vary from program to program. Ours happens to be on clean energy and sustainability. Green, uh, clean energy for green industry is actually the title of it. And so the stud our mission is to uh, train, I guess, provide infrastructure for the trainees to uh, be very well, uh, very well informed and trained, experienced in a core area of technology having to do with renewables, uh, whether it be in solar energy, solar, uh, well, generation, solar energy storage, or uh, um, policy. And with that, we, we, the students then work together and we provide the coursework and uh, the outreach activities for them to also become very well versed in policy, economics, and business. Of course, uh, Los Angeles is a wonderful place to have a program like this because uh, it, it is a test bed, really, for all of these things coming together. Our second speaker, uh, uh, Mark Goodwin, will, will be speaking uh, just after uh, Dr. Stoles. And he'll tell you about a clean tech incubator uh, to help, oh, I guess, enhance opportunities for new industry in Los Angeles and uh, I guess unite education and industry uh, within, within, uh, within LA. So the, uh, the panel sessions that we've got uh, under, under uh, the overarching idea that we want to provide a forum for students, we, we've got students and we've got folks from industry and uh, people from government attending. Uh, in order, we, we want to provide a, a format for the discussion of uh, technology and policy efforts. And so the, uh, well, another thing that I didn't mention is that the IGERT trainees fully di did everything for this workshop. Uh, this is really about the only time you'll see my face. Uh, they, they did the choice of the topic. They did choice of the, uh, they, they chose the structure even. They chose the people that uh, they wanted to have participate and did all the complete organization. So everything you see here, as far as I see, it's extremely well organized, and it's all, it's all they're doing. Uh, anyway, the, uh, after tonight's plenary, we've, we've got uh, the panels are arranged to, to give a really good um, format to, uh, to discussing policy and technology efforts uh, in terms of uh, electronic vehicle adoption technology, answering questions such as what's needed to build a car that's adoptable by uh, the common, uh, common, common people like you and myself, $10,000 perhaps, and what's necessary uh, in terms of infrastructure for mass adoption of an electronic vehicle, uh, whether it be uh, uh, stations located at home and at work or batteries to uh, to prolong the life, what, what's necessary, what infrastructure is necessary for this mass adoption. Uh, the point I think that the students were trying to reach here is that uh, we have a lot of technology already existing. How do we best use it to make something happen now? And uh, what's necessary really to get it going? Uh, next, just technology in general, especially having to do with energy. Uh, they're interested in topics such as uh, Innovations, again, the idea that there's a lot of existing technology, but what do we want to see 10 years, 20 years from now? What is the low-hanging fruit that, uh, that, that if policy and economics are put in place, what's the low-hanging fruit that already exists that can be, that, that can be utilized in a way uh, that brings our economy closer to renewables? 
And uh, what are the best bets for low carbon society as we go 10, 20 years out? We're hoping that the panels tomorrow and the group of people that have chosen to attend are going to uh, have nice discussion about those topics. And last, um, again, the, the fact this workshop is taking place in California, and California has been very progressive in terms of uh, developing policy and economics uh, towards realizing uh, an economy that really is geared towards renewables. Uh, what kind of policy needs to be overcome? Uh, economics, how, how do we uh, overcome these barriers? Uh, what are the inst institutional and policy barriers? What, what, what is uh, preventing current technology from taking place? And what's preventing uh, consumers for, from participating? And what investments are still needed to push this transformation? Investors buy uh, the public in general, investment by our government, investment by uh, business owners. So these are the topics that uh, we hope you all will really enjoy uh, speaking, speaking about, uh, both with panel questions, uh, listening to the plenary speakers, and then having, having time just to talk amongst yourselves. Again, people that are here all of common interest. And uh, let me mention that we have uh, people coming from a number of different schools here in Los Angeles. We've got uh, several of the Cal State schools, uh, Cal State Long Beach, Cal State LA. Both have very strong contingencies here. Uh, of course, UCLA, UC Santa Barbara, UC Davis, uh, UC San Diego. And then we have students from uh, other IGER, another IGRID program at UT Austin and several uh, students from Rutgers, uh, CUNY New York, SUNY New York, um, I'm probably leaving somebody out, but uh, we've got a widespread distribution of people, all with common interests, but everybody's going to have a slightly different take, especially when you start talking to people from Texas and from the East Coast. They're going to have very different uh, economic policies that are put in place and things that they've heard about, and so we're hoping that you guys take the opportunity to, to share best practices, what's going on in your own communities that you really like and perhaps uh, can be done better. Okay, so uh, a bit of business um, before I introduce our first speaker. Oh, let's see, I thought I had this evening's on here. Pardon me, just let me flip. I don't. What did I do? Um, anyway, this evening, yeah, I must have erased one to put another. Uh, let me tell you what's happening this evening. No, no, I can, I can remember tonight. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, we'll, we've got three plenary speakers uh, tonight, and our, our last speaker will be on, uh, on via, uh, via video connection. And uh, then we have a nice mixer, so we hope that will give you an opportunity with uh, some, some food to comfort your tummy, and we've got some uh, uh, beverages. Uh, so we hope you'll take that opportunity to speak to each other. We also have a poster session going on and a really lovely presentation uh, of artwork um, and then uh, a video presentation. So all that's going on out in the lobby. And I'm told that I didn't think I would ever speak for 15 minutes with this, but I have. Uh, so uh, we welcome you tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for breakfast and registration. Uh, yeah, we'll have our first panel discussion, coffee break. Uh, another panel discussion on technology and innovations. Uh, followed by lunch, more poster sessions, some uh, demonstrations from our outreach, clean energy demonstrations that we've taken around to high schools. And the last panel, panel discussion at 2 p.m. on electronic vehicles. And then the closing session will be another plenary uh, with uh, several folks from, uh, that are very active in clean energy promotion in uh, L.A., Jonathan Parfrey, uh, who's worked both in uh, our government as well as... Uh, as uh, uh, clean energy, not, 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 not for profits. Our deputy mayor is going to come speak to us, uh, as well as uh, Fred Walty, who's a clean tech, leads clean tech uh, incubator in LA. Okay, so I'm so sorry that I. Oh, do I? Okay, great. Oh, I didn't want to even speak that long. Um, but let me introduce our first plenary speaker of the, of the afternoon of the entire workshop. And it's really appropriate that uh, Dr. Carol Stoll can be with us tonight because she's a program director for the IGERT uh, program at the National Science Foundation. So she's coming uh, from the National Science Foundation. 
And I'm not positive what her plans are, but I suspect she's going to give more of an in-depth overview of the IGERT program itself, because it really does, uh, especially for our, our, our topic is clean energy. And uh, when you're trying to merge technology with business, with economics, with policy, it really requires a, a campus catal catalyst uh, for, for change. And the IGERT programs have done that in a number of different uh, topics all over the country. And so it's really been a very powerful program uh, to break down perhaps traditional barriers in education and uh, allow a new way of, of uh, uh, continu uh, continuing education. Let me tell you a, a bit about Carol. Um, aside from being a program director of the IGERT program at National Science Foundation, uh, she, she also uh, is in charge of the science uh, master's program, as well and uh, NSF, NSF ethics program and evaluation. So she's very busy right now in management positions at National Science Foundation. Uh, before that, she was vice president for the Council for Basic Research and director of schools around the world, uh, which is an internet uh, professional development uh, consortium for teachers and researchers. So, um, uh, Carol, before you get up, let me do one more thing. I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, would the IGERT, would our IGERT trainees please stand up? I'd like for, for uh, not only to acknowledge you guys, but to show your faces. So if people want to ask questions. Okay, so these are the uh, UCLA, these are your hosts. They are the organizers of this conference, your hosts for the next two days. If there's anything that uh, you can ask them, even in terms of uh, finding a good place to eat or uh, where they're going for dinner tonight or whatever, these are, these are the folks to talk to. So uh, you'll see them all around in the next two days. And now uh, Dr. Dr. Stoles, I'll give the 